Traveling and adventuring alone can have its pros. There's no having to coordinate and agree on where to go and when to go there, no having to make sure that you aren't being too loud or giving each other enough space or having to be patient while someone else is doing something. The list goes on and on, but traveling solo most definitely has its cons. It can get quite lonely on the road, especially when you're traveling through really remote places. There's no one to lean on when things get tough, no one to share the epic memories with, and no one to laugh with. I think I'm pretty much done traveling solo all the time. I'm realizing that having a community on the road makes life more exciting and joyful and that you don't have to do things alone to prove that you are capable. Life is so much sweeter when you have people who understand you and inspire you to be your best self. So after this hike in Kluwani, I was feeling pretty good about myself hiking in bear country alone, but meeting up with another like-minded adventurer was definitely a welcome change for me. It turns out my schedule lined up really well with my new friend Simon of Forestry Forest. We decided that it would be a great time to take a road trip further north to better weather and to do some off-roading and camping. And yes, I'm still on the lookout for northern light. You guys are never going to believe who I'm about to hang out with. Uh, it is the epitome of a Canadian adventure, explorer, van life extraordinaire. To say the least, I admire him so much and uh, we're going on an adventure together. What is my life? Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to not be alone going north. Rocco, so cute. Just foresty forest tonight, going down trail. Is it a bad idea to just follow a stranger into the woods? Potentially. But do I have a good feeling that we're this is gonna be okay? Yes. Behind the scenes for making an episode of Forest You Forest. Oh, that's really <laughs> Look how hard he works for you guys! <laughs> Mighty one. Looks like people have been here. Okay. Oh, yeah, people have been here man. Well, let's walk it a little bit. I think I'd have to leave my van here and let you, you drive. Yeah, you could hop in my car. Really? Yeah! You're crazy. Really? <laughs> this is totally doable, I swear. Forrest he thinks I'm crazy for wanting to do this road, but oh well now it gets that's why I kinda wanna walk it. Like if it was like this the whole way I would do it. Alright, am I good? Coolest dude. right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you need help? Sorry. Mud pit in the middle of the Yukon. successfully got stuck for the first time, really. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Good job. <laughs> that means you're doing something right, I guess. So, yeah.
Now what? Uh, keep going. Just keep going? Yeah. Put the boards in front until oh. we can get out of this part. <laughs> There's a little rail there, that would be good. Okay. Okay. Part two. Part two. Got nothing safe to stand back here. Taking turns sawing. It's getting dense down here. We got to the end wild. <laughs> with some awesome trail breaking. I didn't think it was it's awesome. awesome with the electric Ryobi. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Day. Save the day. Just stomped at a trail with a Jeep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, sure signs that we're at the end, and the lake is over there. Home sweet home. <laughs> I'm glad we made it safe. Cause, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad we made it safe, cause yeah. <laughs> it was a great night at a spot that Forsty Forrest found, that Simon found. Uh, that was pretty cool. We made a fire and he made stew. So if you wanna see what we ate, go to his channel and watch the video. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just more of the behind the scenes in this video, I guess. And now we're gonna go fishing. It's been a really, really fun couple of days. Behind the scenes. Doesn't know I'm recording him right now. Rocco. <laughs> she wants to ride with us. I might just cast right off of the... Can I give her a go? Yeah, I might just go right out there and... Thanks, Simon, for letting me borrow your pack raft. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm just trolling, I guess. Nothing, nothing, nothing out here. No bites. Look in the water. It does not look like fish habitat. Nothing. It sure is beautiful here though. I'm quiet. There are the cars. <laughs> Don't know if I should be showing this on the internet, but my butt is soaked. <laughs> very, very, you know, it was really, it was really spooky out there. Wet my pants. <laughs> Colorful, so we know it's healthy. Bob <laughs> One part of, about clubbing with people is you learn what they do and then get good ideas. Well, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. It has been really awesome. I think we're gonna head further north because it is super necessary that we see the northern lights on this trip. Like, that's part of the whole reason why I wanna be up here. So, and yeah, I'll catch you there. Maybe next video will be the video where we see the northern lights. Send good vibes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Mom, that's the peak we're going to. I'm sorry.